having studied at MIT and now working in California, uh, what's sort of like the comparison of Stanford and MIT? Uh, would you still study at MIT or like, I don't know, uh, because I heard that Stanford is way more applied next to the startups and everything. Yeah, so I've hung around like with, with people from Stanford. Obviously, I have not studied at Stanford. I think the, the one place that is like that over time in my mind, I thought might be perhaps cooler than MIT is not Stanford, maybe it's Caltech. Probably like Caltech is this like super small, super like, um, I don't know, like brainiac mm -hmm. place um, that, that like must be super interesting to study at. But I don't know, I have, and it's for sure like you can, you can argue against it, but um, the way in which MIT is nerdy kind of like carved a place into my heart now that like I would, I, would not, I would not change it. It is true that Stanford is much more involved with like the whole California ecosystem of, of companies. Um, I would say, and you can say that this is like for good or for bad or like right or not, but having MIT on your resume is still like a very good credential for getting access to um, those companies even though it's not based here. Um, but I don't know what it is about it. Like Stanford and Harvard and most of the other like Ivy, Ivy schools have this thing about being like school, uh, so like super cool, a bit, a bit like, a bit like, I don't know how to describe it. Like MIT is like legitimately nerd, like a, a legit nerd place. <laughs> so like there's this thing, it's funny, there's this thing that I used to not like and then I came to like a lot when I like understood it more but so MIT has this like mascot that is a, a beaver okay because I'm like the beaver is the engineer and blah blah and one of these like first onboarding events that I went to it was Team the Beaver which is like team is like MIT spelled backwards and there was like this enormous puppet of a beaver like just clumsy and stupid and like I don't know there's like there's a way to be nerds about it that is adorable at MIT <laughs> and this is like I came like across this over and over and over again and the thing that I like about it is that um, like it makes MIT like this kind of like atmosphere and way to be makes MIT people, I guess, more approachable than many of the other like Ivy um, schools people that I have interacted with. Like the other immediate like school when I was in Boston was Harvard, of course, because they're like, I don't know, less than a mile away from each other. And there's this thing about like being cool, being from Harvard that MIT people didn't have. They were like, yeah, like, they were like just casually telling you that they were working on like the next generation of like nuclear fusion. <laughs> like just throwing it out there like, yeah, no, I like to, I don't know, like play video games and like go to arcade and yeah, I'm working on <laughs> nuclear fusion. Like there's this really cool project about doing some like commercial nuclear fusion, yeah, but it's not that bigger, like, you know, like this was the kind of people, as opposed to like the Harvard people coming always with the like steamed shirt and like with their, I don't know. Yeah, it's like this comparison, like this is how MIT kind of carved like this place into, into my heart. Like they were always like troubled people with some, you know. <laughs>